Hello everyone, welcome to the last problem of weekly contest 287, Encrypt and Decrypt Ring. My name is Sanchit Rodeja, I am working as software engineer for at Adobe and here in this problem we need to define three methods. The first one is the encryptor constructor which accepts three parameters, the keys, the values and the dictionary. So dictionary has a very special role, I will be talking about it in the later section. But keys and maps are acting, are acting more as a map to me because the ith key maps to the ith value. So the first hint that you should take from the question is to transform this key value separated arrays into map. Now comes the second helper method that we need to create encrypt. So here in this question using this map that we have just created we need to encrypt this word one and return the encrypted string. The last one that we need to define is decrypt. Here we are given an encrypted string. We need to decrypt this string into possible values and then we need to check out of those possible values how many does exist in my dictionary. So I need to return that count. Without further ado, this is the example that they have provided. I will be walking you through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it by the presentation. So let's quickly hop on to it. Lead code triple two seven encrypt and decrypt strings. Also, in case if you have any doubt, feedback, or suggestions, please let me know on the Discord server or the Telegram group of Coding Decoded. I'll be more than happy to assist you with any questions that you have. So let's shoot for understanding the question first, and then we'll take on the example. So here we need to define three helper methods: encryptor, string encrypt, decrypt the string, and return the possible count value. So let's get started. From the first encryptor constructor, what the first hint that we got was to create a map using these keys and values. So I'll be doing the same thing. I have created a character string map and I'll iterate through this these two arrays and generate a map using it. Now I want to encrypt a particular string and let's hypothetically assume we are interested in encrypting ABCD string. So how can I do that? I will be simply iterating through the string character by character. So the first character that I see is A. So A maps to EI as a result of which my encrypted string will have EI in it. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is B. B maps to ZF. So I will append ZF to EI. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is C and C maps to EI again. I will go and append EI again onto my encrypted string. Then I have D, D maps to AM and I, as a result of which I will append AM onto my encrypted string. Once I am done with this iteration of my all the characters that I present in my input string, I have successfully encrypted it and this is my final answer with respect to this particular input string. E, I, Z, F, E, I, A, M and it is in sync with our expectation. So if you go back to the example, this is what the answer expected us to do. Now let's see second part. How are we going to handle the decryption logic? And uh, uh, along with this, we have these elements as part of our dictionaries. So what I'll do, I'll do some pre-computation and I'm going to generate to what all strings these particular strings that are present as part of my dictionary get encrypted to. So let's, I'm calculating the encrypted strings for these all elements that are part of my dictionary. So let's get started. A, B, C, D, we already see E, I, Z, F, E, I, A, M. So E, I, Z, F, E, I, A, M. Let's go ahead. Next we see is A, C, B, D. So E, I, C is again E, I. Then we have B as Z, F. Then we have A, M. Next we have A, D, B, C. So A points to E, I. Then we have D as A, M. Then we have B as Z, F. Then we have C as E, I. Let's proceed ahead. Next we see is B, A, D, C. So B points to Z, F. Then we have A, E, I. Then we have D as A, M. Then we have C as E, I. Next we have D A C B. So D points to A M. A points to E I. C points to E I. 
then we have ZF next we have CADV so C points to EI then we have EI again then we have D which is AM then we have B which is ZF next we have CBDA so C points to EI then we have B points to ZF then we have D points to AM and then we have A points to EI let's do it for the last one which is A points to EI then we have B points to ZF then we have A points to EI then we have D points to AM now what will I do I'll store all these encrypted strings in a map and I want to store at, at how many instances does each of these encrypted string occur so let's shoot and create a map which will actually store encrypted string comma its frequency as per dictionary because in the decrypt method we are interested in finding out the count of those particular strings which the encrypted string can be decrypted into so let's shoot and create this map and here uh, we'll have EI ZF EI AM as you can see it occurs twice as a result of it the frequency of this particular string will be updated to 2 and rest of the strings I'm not writing it but upfront it will be set to 1 unless there is no duplication so once I have created this map let me write just few more values so let's write 1 1 here instead of rewriting the entire one and let me just remove this and write 2 over here that means this encrypted string can be decrypted into two possible strings as per our dictionary and now comes the favorite part where we need to decrypt a particular string so what will I do I'll simply check whether the parameter passed word 2 exists in my map or not if it doesn't exist I'll return 0 if it does exist then I will check what is the frequency value held in my map here the frequency value is 2 that means it, it can be decrypted into two possible strings one a b c d and other one is a b a d and this is what I need to return so the crux of problem lies in doing this pre-computation over the dictionary rather than going in the other direction where you are given a decrypted string and then you are trying to figure out to what all elements can it be decrypted appropriately. Without further ado, let's quickly walk through the coding section and I'll exactly follow the same step as I have just, just talked here. Here I've created two maps one is character to string which will be used as my encryption map other one will be used to identify the ways to decrypt an encrypted string as per dictionary so uh, let's walk through each of the helper method and I initialize it to new hash map the encryption map I walk through the keys and the values array that I have and I put these keys corresponding to these values in my encryption map once I'm done with this I have then I go ahead and create uh, a new hash map for ways to decrypt I walk th I iterate over all the element or the all the words of dictionary and I generate encrypted strings once I have generated encrypted strings I put these encrypted strings in my uh, ways to decrypt and with each iteration I update the frequency by one the, now the problem reduces to writing this encrypt and decrypt helper method it's really simple I walk through each character of my word one and I have created a new encrypted string variable over here I append and get uh, what is the corresponding string for this particular character for my encrypted map in the end I simply return encrypted string uh, to, to string format and return it as the answer for the decryption part it's again really simple I check what is the frequency that is present for this decrypted string word 2 in my ways to decrypt map but really simple guys and I believe this is the easiest problem out of the three problems uh, accepted this brings me to the end of today's session and with this we have solved all the four problems I really hope you had a great time watching these up and if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for being it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates on Code and Decoded I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye